Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free Microsoft 7680 certification training course. This module is on configuring application compatibility. If you've ever worked with an operating system that was brand new, you know that some of your old programs may have a problem sometimes running on that new operating system. So in this video module, we're going to look at how we can set compatibility mode within Windows 7. We can implement shims, and we'll talk about what shims are. We also want to see how we can look at Internet Explorer, the latest version, and see if there are compatibility problems with running some of our very important applications in that browser environment. If you're an application developer, then you know it can be a bit of a problem whenever new operating systems come out and your application was built for something on the old operating system and doesn't quite work right on the new operating system. There's no way to guarantee that some of those older programs will work properly whenever you move them into a new OS. Fortunately, Microsoft Windows has the ability to set compatibility modes. It can compensate for these minor changes between Windows operating systems. And you can right mouse click and look at the properties for any of the executables on your system. And there's a compatibility tab that's right there in the middle. And you can choose how you would like this particular program to run. Look at all of the different operating systems that you can run this compatibility mode. Everything from Windows 95 and Windows NT all the way down to Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003 and 2008. You can even specify the differences in service packs with Windows XP. You've got a few options here on how you're running that particular application. And sometimes when the application is expecting a certain thing that's in Windows XP and it's not Windows 7, simply configuring it to run as a Windows XP application resolves the problem completely. If you work with a lot of different applications and a lot of different operating systems in your environment, then you're going to run into a problem with compatibility with application from time to time. Microsoft has created this application compatibility toolkit that allows you to see what computers on your, your network are running fine with the applications, which ones might be having problems, and how those particular applications are performing. You can download this toolkit for absolutely free from Microsoft.com. It comes with a number of very interesting utilities. One is called the Application Compatibility Manager. We'll look at this. It allows us to get a report on how all of the computers in our environment are performing. That becomes important if you have hundreds or thousands of computers and you want to know if all the applications are working the way they should. You can also test the applications yourself or see which applications have already gotten changes to them using the Compatibility Administrator. We'll look through third-party apps on ours, and you can also build some yourself. These are called shims that allow the older applications to use the new operating system in a different way so that it doesn't create a conflict. Also, this comes with the Internet Explorer compatibility test tool and where we can bring up our applications in the new version of Internet Explorer. And it'll tell us if it's able to run properly, even if it was built for a previous version of Internet Explorer. And I also recommend looking through a really nice lab. They have a demonstration application that comes with the application compatibility toolkit. And they have a great lab that steps you through all the very beginning of examining the application all the way to the end where you've been able to build your own shim based on a number of incompatibilities with that older application. Once you install the toolkit, you'll find it in your Start menu. If you look under All Programs, there's your Microsoft Application Compatibility Toolkit. Here are those programs we were just looking at. The Application Compatibility Manager, a Compatibility Administrator, where we can look at some shims that have already been created. Here's this great demo app, which has this lab where it steps you through the process of building your own shim for the Stock Viewer application, which does not run very well in Windows 7, as you'll find. And here are your developer and tester tools for testing Internet Explorer applications. And then there's this great standard user analyzer. I can run an application and set up the way I would like a user, a standard user, to be. And we can run our application through this user manager, this user analyzer, and get a feel for how this application is going to react, even though we're not sitting at the user's desktop. The Application Compatibility Manager was really designed for large-scale implementations. In fact, you must have Microsoft SQL Server running for this application even to work. And once you 
bring it up, you can see that you can collect data on everybody's machine. You can simply add a data collection package that every user has running on their system that is then sending information back to this centralized database. And you, from that database, you can run reports that will show you all the applications that do not work, applications that have minor issues, applications with no known issues, and applications with no data at all. This allows you to really start compiling over an extended period of time exactly the way the applications are performing for your end users. And it can also give you an idea of just how much work is going to be ahead of you. If there are 100 applications that are having problems, then you may have to sit down and really try to determine what applications you want to be able to modify and maybe applications you simply won't run anymore. But if it tells you that only five have minor issues associated with them, it may be perfect for simply resolving some of those minor issues with some shims. The Compatibility Administrator allows us to see how Windows is going to run with some of these older applications. To get a feel for the applications, compatibility fixes, and compatibility modes that you might see, I'm going to see all of them at once just by going into the applications. As we scroll through here, you can see there are a lot of different apps in here that you may have seen before, some of these that are really, really old. For instance, we'll choose AOL 6.0. This is a version of the AOL client that allows someone in Windows to connect to the America Online service. And you can see the link date for this executable is 2001. So this is a pretty old program. And one of the things you'll notice, I'm going to scroll down here a bit to the waol.exe program. If it's the 6.0.1 version from America Online, it has a number of compatibility fixes that have already been applied to this executable. If this runs, there's a number of things that will happen. A find bundled installer fix, a set entries property fixed, an application type 4 fix. Here's a good one, a Windows 2000 version live. What happens is that when this operating system underneath the Windows 7 operating system responds to this app, it, this application is going to ask, what operating system are you? It is not expecting to see Windows 7 pop up. So what you have to do is put this in here that whenever this Windows application says, what version is running, Windows 7 responds back with an absolute lie and tells it on Windows 2000. And then the application is able to work properly from that point forward. So there's all kinds of little compatibility fixes that you can apply to certain applications. And you can also apply these fixes to your own applications and build your own shims based on some of these compatibility fixes. There's no doubt that the browsers that we use are incredibly important to what we do. And unfortunately, there are changes in the browser infrastructures as you move from one version to another that may cause problems with the applications that run in those browsers. That's why this compatibility test toolkit comes with the Internet Explorer compatibility test tool. This allows you to start up Internet Explorer 8 and monitor it based on the applications that you're running inside of it. And if this test tool notices there's something you need to be aware of, some incompatibilities, whether they are minor or major, it's going to make a list of those. So you can see exactly the particular page that you were on or the application that you were running inside of a browser and where that particular incompatibility happened to exist. Let's do that ourselves and see how this works. Here is the Internet Explorer compatibility test tool. I'm going to start it first, and I'm going to choose to enable the test tool. Then I'm going to start my Internet Explorer. It's going to bring up the Microsoft Network pages, and I'm going to move this over. Hopefully you can see this down here. And as it connects out to the web pages and begins pulling the information down about that web page, you're going to see things pop up down here as it goes through and finds things that might be an issue. And our, as you noticed, it popped up a message when it was starting down here, and it gave us a little icon that says the Internet Explorer compatibility evaluation logging is turned on. So if you go to a certain website, if we go to a Google page, and we'll simply choose to go to Google.com, we'll be able to see, does Google.com run well? Well, there happens to be a small issue with MIME handling. We look at Microsoft's network page. It also had a problem, and another one with a standards mode. And it gives you information about that problem, what it means, and what you can do to help resolve some of these issues you run into. Some of these issues may be very minor, and the application continues to work properly. Or they may be issues that completely stop that application from performing properly. And if you can load this test tool 
Google and go to different pages, try your applications, and see how it's going to perform, you have a much better comfort level with how this application is going to work when you start rolling out that brand new version of Internet Explorer. If your users do run into application compatibility problems, you can tell Windows 7 how to react when that happens. There's some group policies that we can modify that allow Windows to redirect what the user can do, perhaps pop up a message, or simply run it differently the next time the user launches that app. You'll find these if you look under the group policies or under the Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Troubleshooting and Diagnostics, and then Application Compatibility Diagnostics. And there's only five of them here. You can notify blocked drivers. You can detect application failures caused by deprecated Windows DLLs or COM objects. You can detect application install failures. You can detect application installers that need to be run as administrator or detect applications that are unable to launch installers under the user account control. This allows you to now set configuration states within the group policies that change the way Windows reacts to these things. To really see how these group policies are going to work, you'll need to look at these. For instance, under the Detect Application Install Failures, if I double click this, you can enable or disable or not configure this. But the Explain tab is where you're going to get all the really good information about the way this works. For this particular group policy, it's set up so that if Windows detects failures with an application installer, it pops up a message for the user and says, would you like to restart this installer in Windows XP compatibility mode? So you can give the user a little bit more control. The user may have no idea what any of that really means. But by walking them through the process and noticing there's a problem and giving them an option to do it again, you may first, of course, allow the user to continue with their work. That also means they're not calling your help desk with a problem, especially when this particular problem could be simply resolved by turning it on in a Windows XP compatibility mode. The ultimate compatibility mode, of course, is to run Windows XP in your Windows 7 operating system. This is a capability that is included with Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Ultimate, and Windows 7 Enterprise. This is called a Windows XP mode. And what it really does is run as a virtual machine an entire Windows XP operating system within your Windows 7 operating system. This is something that builds on the virtual machine capabilities that Microsoft has already created in their other products. This, of course, is going to use a lot of resources because you are running a completely separate operating system on your desktop. So it will need as much memory as that operating system needs to run, and probably going to need a few gigabytes of disk space just to get the operating system installed properly before you even install any particular applications. But once you do, this integrates quite nicely to the Windows 7 desktop. When you install an application in your virtual Windows XP environment, it also becomes available to run just as an individual app. And from that point forward, you can simply run the Windows XP version of that application. Behind the scenes, it starts up the virtual machine. But all you really see is that application running the way you would expect. So it's a very, very nice seamless way to run a virtual machine inside of your Windows 7. And if your particular application is very, very particular and it will only run if it is a real Windows 7 operating system, this is probably a very good option for you to use. Here's how this is going to look on your system. You can see I'm running Windows 7 here, all of the things that I would have in my Windows 7 toolbar and operating system. But here's the Windows XP mode. This is something that you would download from Microsoft and install. Only takes a few minutes. The download is pretty big, but it installs very, very easily. And it is Windows XP in here. So all the things that you can do at Windows XP, down to running things very, very specific to the operating system, are right in here. And when you're building this out, you also have to keep in mind, because it is a separate operating system, that you also have to do all of the same maintenance that you would do for Windows XP. You have to install updated security patches. You have to make sure that you have a completely separate antivirus system running in there, and do all of the things that you would normally do as if this was a standalone OS. Let's review some of the topics from this video. Our first question is, how can you test your browser-based applications just to make sure they're going to work properly when you start to use Internet Explorer 8? 
Well, as you recall, there was a tool that came with our application compatibility toolkit, and that was the Internet Explorer compatibility test tool. The next question, what should you do if an application is designed to run on Windows 2000? Well, one of the very, very easy things you can do before you even launch the app is go into the properties of the application and configure it to run in Windows 2000 compatibility mode in that compatibility tab. And the last question, what application allows you to make your own shim? If you wanted to be able to create your own customized methods for an application to run with all of those compatibility fixes, then you'll want to use the compatibility administrator. That covers the requirements that we have for this particular subject on application compatibility. We've looked at setting compatibility modes, implementing our own shims, and looking at the compatibility issues with Internet Explorer. If you'd like to see any more of our absolutely free Microsoft videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards or send me a message, you can visit our website at ProfessorMesser.com.